What is Animini Games? As the title might suggest, Animini Games is a mini game collection that I am currently making inside of Unity. And they're going to be featuring some cute little creatures that I'm calling Animini. It's a plural word like Pokemon and sheep. Featuring the dog and perhaps this toucan and some other creatures. And that's it, let's get into the video. So let's look at some of the art that I've made. This is the dog, and I'm going to show off the ducking animation. You can see it there. Notice that the cheeks change colour, tail comes in closer, and the ears fold over the head. It's all a sign of the dog being scared of the punches and trying to protect itself. So here we have the looking up animation. I show it in full there. Um, this would probably just be a cosmetic effect. Next we have the boxing glove. Not much to say. It's just a boxing glove. Here we have the boxing ring. At first there's not much to say about this one. As it looks relatively easy. And then we zoom in and all my agony is revealed. I had to go pixel by painstaking pixel to construct this. And after all of that, I'm hoping that I got the perspective right. I'm still new to pixel art, so yeah, that was just... It took hours. It took a very long time to make this. But I managed it, and I'm happy with the end result. Here all that art is in Unity. So you've got the player, the dog, you've got his boxing glove, and you've got the boxing ring. And I think the way that the player is positioned in the boxing ring, I think the perspective turned out better than I expected. And now you'll see some gameplay. So the player has a pretty standard move set. He can move left and right. He can jump. Notice how the glove lags behind the player a little bit. I did that on purpose. I think it looks nicer. The player is ducking there. He's looking very scared. Play it can punch. You can also punch while ducking. It's worth noting that ducking actually reduces the size of the hitbox, of the the vertical size of the hitbox. Uh, looking up has not been implemented yet, but that's okay because it doesn't really serve any functionality other than possibly moving the camera up to reveal a bit more of the crowd. Maybe that might be a cool addition. So I'm going to show a clip of the gameplay without music, and then I'm going to show a clip where I have put music in. Bland, isn't it? Let's up the ante. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm going to show you a script of what I did for implementing it into Unity. This is my music system. It will start playing the riser after the delay. The part with the one, two, three, four. Then it will wait for the riser to finish. And I had to spend a lot of time fine-tuning this value in the inspector, playing it over and over again, and sometimes it doesn't even work, so I'm going to have to figure that one out. And then the loop will play, and because the loop loops, it just plays forever until we intervene and stop it through code. So I'm using Source Tree for this project. Basically, I will 
commit the changes which will save them locally. So let's just type the text really quickly here. Thank you, I do have mad typing skills. Now let's commit it and then we can go ahead and push this to GitHub. So this is my Trello board. This is what I use to manage the project. It's either simple or needlessly complicated depending on how you look at it. You've got minigame ideas on the left. So you've got boxing there. You've also got volleyball, toilet paper hoarding and fly catching. They could potentially be fun and they won't be extremely heavy art side. We're just going through the list of bugs that I fixed of in the boxing minigame. This makes me feel like I've accomplished something. And it also helps if I need to solve bugs later on in different minigames that I will build. I can come back here and it might tell me some solutions. Also, we keep track of the animations just because why not. So this is just generally everything functionally to do with the boxing minigame. We've got movement, AI, punching, camera following, boundaries, music looper, and we're also going to look at the music here. Um, it's just a riser and the loop, it's very simple. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting the like and subscribe button as it supports the channel. Otherwise, bye for now.